I need to start how I'm going to end so you can help me. So there's going to be a chant at the end. And if you're if you're a Maryland Turpins fan, I saw some fear the turtle. Yeah. So the chant goes, uh -uh. Uh -uh. I go uh -uh. I, and then you go I. There you go. Yo, yo, you'll get it. I go, I believe. I believe. I believe that. I believe that. And then it goes, I believe that we will win. I, I believe that, that we will win. win. Now, I, now when we get to that point, now you gotta. You gotta believe. I wanna see the pipeline bouncing. I wanna see windmills bouncing. I wanna see the polar bear bouncing. I wanna see the staff code point size. God, when we get to I believe that we will win, I want the police officers to be like, I believe that we will win. So I just wanna say first and foremost that I stand here in solidarity with my three beautiful sisters, the Enbridge Three, from the Michigan Coalition Against Tar Sands, who are winning trial in court. Yeah, they spoke up against the horrors of the Keystone Pipeline, and we stand with them because we're at a moment in time when the reality is in the 20th century, we dealt with equality. But in the 21st century, we are dealing with existence. Yeah. I have said many times, this is our lunch counter moment for the 21st century. Yeah. And we must stop Cove Point. Now, what I want to say is that when Dr. King, on April 4th, was assassinated in Memphis, he went down to Memphis to fight for the sanitation workers. What's a little known fact that the last speech that he canceled to go to Memphis, that we know that he was assassinated, that last speech at the end of March was supposed to be right here in Baltimore, Maryland. And we know if Dr. King had been here in Baltimore, that he will be standing up right now, fighting for our future generations and saying, stop Cold Point right now. <laughs> if Dr. King was here right now, he would say, stop fracking and stop it right now. <laughs> and so we're at this time, so CCAN, I want to thank you for organizing this rally, but I have a request. Where's Mike and Ted and everybody? Where, where's Mike? There he is. So, uh, uh, Mike, I have a request for you. On November 1st, 1864, uh, the Maryland Constitution, and where, where's Heather? I think Heather's here. Heather, Heather's there doing the interview. She's, well, hopefully she can hear this guy. I need her to do this, this piece. Mike can tap Heather, right? This Mike can just tap her. Let's tap her right quick. Heather, I need you to hear this, this one little piece. In 1864, the Maryland Constitution, November 1st, was passed. 150 years ago this year. Out of that, we were so proud in Maryland that we named, because we, as Maryland Marylanders, we helped abolish slavery. Yeah. Woo! And name for this great state became the Free State. Yeah. So Heather, what I need to do is we need to add a new nickname to Maryland. Yeah. You need to go forth and pass legislation that says this down with the fossil free state. Yeah. Yeah. Free state. Yeah. 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 That's a new nickname for Maryland. Yeah. So anybody who comes here can know that this is the fossil free state of these United States of America. Yeah. that last speech for Dr. King that he couldn't give, but today we now end that speech for Dr. King today. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. He said, free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty, we're free at last. We're bringing current today. And today, 
with our windmills raised and our fists raised. Now we stand here to end Dr. King's speech and we say, Fossil free at last. Fossil free at last. Fossil free at last. Fossil free at last. Thank God Almighty. Thank God Almighty. We will be fossil free at last. We will be fossil free at last. I believe. I believe.